What's wrong with this photo? At first look everything seems okay until you start noticing small details like frightened look on his face. He isn't using a chair. Today we bring you 10 innocent photos that hide a creepy story. This is cosmonaut Sergei Kirkalev, year 1991. He is in Russian Mir space station. Frightened look on his face can be explained by the fact he just learned that the state that sent him in space, the Soviet Union has collapsed. He knows he's in trouble. He knows it will create problems for him. He knows he's stuck in space. Unable to return home, he ended up staying 311 days in space, unwittingly setting a world record in the process. When Kirkalev returned home, it was a nation that was very different from the one that sent him in space. The Soviet Union has fractured into 15 nations. Presidents have changed. Even his hometown of Leningrad had become St. Petersburg. Russians were low on money, so they started selling trips to Mir space station to other nations. So if Kirkalev left, no one would be able to run the station, so he was forced to stay. At the time, Kirkalev was supposed to serve in the military reserves and was almost issued a warrant for desertion before the army realized that their soldier was not even on their planet. This photo isn't your typical abandoned building photo. This large mass of corium you can see on the photo was born during the Chernobyl disaster. It's called the elephant's foot for its wrinkly appearance, resembling the foot of an elephant. It's one of the most dangerous and deadliest things in the world. At the time, anyone who approached it would have received a fatal radiation dose in under a minute. After just 30 seconds of exposure, dizziness and fatigue will find you a week later. At 300 seconds, you would have two days to live. Since the disaster, the radiation intensity has declined enough that in 1996 the elephant's foot was visited by Artur Kornayev who took photographs using an automatic camera and a flashlight to illuminate the otherwise dark room. Kornayev who took photos has likely visited this area more than anyone else and in doing so has been exposed to more radiation than almost anyone in history and was interviewed by the New York Times reporter Henry Fountain in 2014. The third photo on our list looks innocent enough, but you'll notice that there's something weird on this photo. Their hair is pointing up. If you ever experience a similar effect in similar weather, you need to immediately seek shelter because you're in danger of thunderstrike. And yes, you guessed it, that's exactly what happened in this photo. Minutes away after this photo was taken, Michael McQuilkin and his brother Sean were struck by lightning. They had climbed California's Morro Rock in 1975 and were totally unaware of the danger they were in. Fortunately enough, both of them survived. Sean, the boy on the left, suffered third degree burns to his back and elbows and Michael barely made it out alive. The reason their hair was lifted into the air is because electrical charges in the atmosphere just before thunderstrike can lift hair into the air as a result of huge amounts of static electricity produced in the atmosphere. Another photo on our list depicts men who look like pilots holding a puppy. Cute enough, but you may ask yourself, what's so creepy about this photo? Its backstory is creepy. Men on this photo are actually kamikaze pilots who took this photo before their last mission. Next photo that's on the mysterious specter on our list is the seemingly innocent photo Mabel Chinnery snapped in 1959 in England. She took a photo of her husband in the car, but when the photo was developed, Mabel noticed something frightening on the photo. If you look closely, there's a person sitting in the back seat behind Mabel's husband. As Mabel claims, it's her deceased mother. Old analog cameras were known to have similar malfunctions, and if you're old enough, you've probably used one at least once, so you know how it works. Because analog cameras use photographic film, 
It is possible to expose the same film to two different photographic scenes and create an image composed of material from both exposures that doesn't exist in digital photography. Among other proof, like the white color being visible through solid metal, this photo by Mrs. Mabel Chinnery is believed to be a composed double exposure image. Now we move from cheap analog cameras to space grade ones. This is the first color photo that was taken on the surface of the planet Venus. It definitely gives off creepy vibes, but what's so interesting about it? First off, temperatures on Venus can get as high as 465 degrees Celsius or 870 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, atmospheric pressure on Venus is over 90 times than that of the Earth's at sea level. Roughly, it can be compared to the pressure found 900 meters or 3000 feet underwater on Earth. It's very difficult to build a probe that can withstand these harsh conditions Venus has to offer. The probe that took these photos is a Russian-made Venera 13 on 1st of March 1982. Before breaking down, the lander functioned for at least 127 minutes, even though the planned design life was 32 minutes. You may ask yourself what's so creepy about this odd looking photo. The creepy part comes after you find out that this is actually inside of a Handley Page Type V10 airplane. This photo was taken in early 1930s and it represents what air travelers have experienced in the 1920s and early 1930s. Of course, passenger aircraft had changed quickly and dramatically over a couple of years, but this is how the beginning of commercial flight looked like. No seat belts, wicker chairs, no intercom. Of course, a lot of people didn't want to choose this kind of travel for obvious reasons. In 1928, there were a total of 16 commercial airline crashes, and in 1929, there were 51, which remains the worst year of commercial flight on record. I'll admit, this photo doesn't seem very innocent. On the contrary, it's kinda creepy. But what is actually shown on this photo? You're looking at decaying great white shark, left to rot at an abandoned wildlife park in Melbourne. Now to clarify, this shark wasn't abandoned to die. This great white died in a fishing net in the 90s and wasn't in captivity until after her death and is very poorly preserved in a tank of formaldehyde. Nevertheless, very creepy photo. This photo was taken in 1977. It's not very hard to spot two black spots on the World Trade Center's South Tower, but what's actually happening here? You aren't looking at window cleaners. You are looking at policemen in the cleaning basket, chatting with George Willig aka Human Fly, scaling the exterior of the iconic building. Completing the climb in 3.5 hours, he was arrested at the top after signing several autographs. People booed the city attorney when he announced to the public that George would be sued for $2,500,000 for wasting police resources. The major decided a symbolic $1.10 fine would be more appropriate. A penny for each floor he passed, saying Willig lifted the city's spirit with each floor he climbed. The last photo on our list is called the pale blue dot. You may ask yourself why. This dust-like photo is one of Voyager 1 last photos, and this pale blue dot you can see here is, you've guessed it, Earth. Cole Sagan wrote in his book, Consider again that dot, that's here, that's home, that's us. On it everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, Every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. 
I hope you've enjoyed my first voiceover video and if you want to see more of them click like and subscribe or let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching.